How you doing, guys? It's uh, <coughs> it's been a while. It's been a while since I actually made just a video. So I would like to share something that I learned that my father taught me um, years ago. Um, it has nothing to do with the GoFundMe, which I would like to speak about that later as well, which is just unbelievable to the car community and just I'm at a loss for words guys I really am um it actually puts me in tears a lot but anyhow um okay let's get started uh when you paint a car like I have the engine bay is all done a lot of people think it's just primer but as you can see it's really shiny it's base coat clear coat but you get a lot of paint in in the holes so what you do is take uh, let me go over here in the light take this let me get down your light I don't can't see it there either where can I see it? Maybe there? Okay. Take just a 10 mil like this and put a couple slots. I don't know if you can if you can see the slots in it or not. I don't know. I can't get the lighting right. Darn it. Anyways, I took a Dremel and put a couple slots down the side of the bolt. You can see them, I think. Well, just take that bolt and uh, let me switch hands here. And whatever hole that you have paint in, just run this through it this one i've already done i actually had to take a um, eight mil and you know and work it back and forth a little bit bring it back out we're going to go to the next one but yeah and instead of you know having to go search out a tap which you know a lot of times finding metric taps for us is difficult but there's a reason why we need these these holes to be nice and clean and i don't know if i'm going to use two or three of them but you know you're not actually tapping the hole you're just basically getting the paint out of the threads because i need to be able to use my fingertips later and i'll show you why okay all right so those those three bolts seem to be cleared okay one two and three all right this is the uh custom catch can that we actually originally bought from ebay and modified um, changed a lot on it. I wanted big breathing because of the boots that I'm running and stuff like that. Um, Danny, my buddy Danny, did all my welding, but this is going to mount right down in there, just like that. It doesn't touch anything when you get it just right. It doesn't touch anything. It just lays just like that. Now, the thing is, you can't see through the aluminum, so you're like, you know, how do I know where to where to drill it? A lot of people a lot of people make paper templates But there is a much easier way that's a lot closer and you're gonna be spot on and uh, I'm gonna show you that right now. I have to uh, pause this and I got to find a, a Long 10 mm, 10 millimeter bolt. Uh, I think no. Well, yeah, I guess they call this 10 millimeter It's got a 8 mil head, but anyways, let me find another bolt and um, We'll get back to it and I'll show you how to do it Okay, I found a longer 10 mil bolt. We're going to take this one right here and we're going to cut the head off it and modify it. And then I'll show you, um, I'll come back when it's modified. Okay, good deal. Okay, what I did is I put this, this uh, bolt here that I'm going to use in the drill and I used Scotch Bright and I ran it up and down the threads because you want this to be very, very easily, easy to move you know in the threads because there's not going to be a head on it anymore so i'll get to modifying it what i'm going to do now is i'm going to cut the head off i'm going to sharpen it and i'll be back okay we're at the next step let me show you what i did just simple as that just cut the head right off of it you leave yourself a little, little bit of shank up there if you can up at the top i hope this is focusing i don't know if it is or isn't probably not but you see you see what i did Okay, cool. This is really going to help you out, help you guys out. So hang in there, and I'll um, I'll get to sharpening. Actually, I'm going to sharpen this tip right here. I'll show you. I'll be back. Hold it. Hang in there. Okay, what I did here is I put that piece that I cut off in the drill, in the drill, and I just turned it as I sharpened the tip in the drill. Just as simple as that. Now we'll take it out, and I barely tightened it because I don't want to mash up the threads. It should be still pretty clean. I'll tell you what, it's warm. <laughs> we're gonna come over here. We're gonna set that in our hole. We'll screw it in by fingers. I need more light in here. I wanna make sure that it goes in freely just by my fingertips. OK. 
because uh, and I'm going to try to get it as low as I can and still be able to get a grip on it sometimes you get them too low and you <laughs> have a little difficult time getting them out but I'll do it so you just set it down in there as far as you can get it with just your fingertips until you got it sitting like that with a point on it so maybe if I do this it'll show better see if that works Is that any there we go Okay, see, I got that point sitting there. I think I had my phone in the wrong setting. Anyways, you can probably pretty much guess what the next step is. This is how you mark a blind hole that you can't see from the other side. Give me a second. As you all know, the way I edit, I turn my phone on and off. So I got a shredded glove here, but it'll work. Um, I always wear gloves. You probably wonder why with aluminum. With aluminum, because, you know, your acids from your skin stains aluminum and makes it end up looking terrible. If it sits for too long. So after I get done with this and bring it back up to the house, I'll spray it down with W40 and wipe it down and put it back in the box. But okay, I'm going to try to do this all by, um, I don't know how I'm going to do this. I need a stand. Uh, give me a second. Well, uh, well, guys, uh, I got a problem out here. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> it's just me. I'm always alone. So anyways, you see the uh, little, the little uh, you know, the piece I put in there. I'm going to set this in there. Let me, get it. Let me get where you can see it. Okay, I'm going to set that in there. And I'm going to line this box up right where I need it. I'm going to write it right above that pin, that, that sharp pin that I screwed in that 10 mil hole. I'm going to get it right where I want it. Right where I want it. I'm going to hold it very, very still. Okay, now pretend the box is still in there. Just hang with me. After I get it in there, I'm going to take... A soft hammer, which this is pretty soft, and um, I'm gonna whack that aluminum lip right there, just like, you know, just, 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 not even that hard. I would say probably more like, that's it, very light, just very light. You're just looking to make a small prick on the other side, that's it. Just, you know, you ain't gotta pound the hell out of it, it's gonna leave a mark, you're gonna see it. And then I'll take that out by hand so let me go ahead and make my mark and then, and then i'll come back since you since you know what i'm doing i i don't have to film it so let me go ahead and make the mark and i'll be right back i'll be i'll be back with you okay off camera i gave it a little actually you know what i did i used i used that into the hammer i just went i just went like this i just went that's all i did really light and as you can see hopefully you can see there it is see a little pin prick now i know where to drill Guys, it's that simple. When you got a blind hole, that's that's how that's how it's done. That's how you do it. And then you come over here, and hopefully this doesn't give me no problems. And comes out on its own. Sometimes when you do tap them, they get you know it's a tad sticky. So I can get it out. I think it's coming. If I can keep the camera straight. There we go. There we go. Okay. Now to do this, there's only two things you really have to remember. Is just make sure the threads in there are clean, so you know they're free, because you don't want you don't want your piece getting stuck. And your piece that you made, if I can get the focus, there it is. Make sure you, you clean the threads on that and sharpen the. Uh, I get it closer. There we go. That's it. So you can just. Let me see. You gonna focus? You gonna focus? Focus. Focus, no focus, there we go, yeah, that's it, okay, my next step that I'll do is, let me get my camera back out, I guess that's good, next step I'm going to do is I'm going to drill that hole, then I'll bring, I'll bring the box back over here, I'll put my pen in the next hole and screw it down, I'll line the box up, put that screw in since I'll have a hole for it, and I'll tap the next one. And then I'll do one more, just for extra. That's it, guys. That's it. That's how you do it. That's all to it. That's how you mark a blind hole. And I, I hope that this has helped you. I know that probably many have fought with that on, you know, getting them lined up where you want it. But I held the box in there straight with my left hand, looked all around, make sure I had it right. Gave it a little, just a little punch like that. Put the prick in it. Drew you a hole. Come over here and put your pen in the next one you're going to do. 
Put a bowl hole in that one so it lines up your box. Put your pin in there. Mark the next one. Put, it, put a bolt in it. Then go to this one with your punch. Put it in there. Tap that one. And you get them all three absolutely perfect. So that's all. That's that's all to it. I hope that um, I hope that helps you guys out in the future. It's a very handy thing to do. My father taught me that probably I don't know. Good God, uh, 35 years ago, 38 years. <laughs> But it's always worked fantastic. About the gun foam, about the yeah, about the GoFundMe. Um, you guys have gone way over the mark. Absolutely beautiful. Um, this is this is something I do want to show you. Okay, that house down there is an absolute wreck. Me and the wife purposely moved into that house because the rent was so cheap, and it was the only way that we could afford to build the car was to rent that it's actually dilapidated it's it's condemnable but because of what you have all done with the gofundme and i'm gonna just i'm gonna really try not to start crying right now i can actually get my wife into a new home i can actually get it let me see, let me get this thing phobia i don't know why i went to that hold on a second there we go because of what you've all done to me done for, to me <laughs> for me I can now get my wife into a new home, a new, clean, beautiful home. Um, it's a repo. It's a bank repo trailer still, um, you know, single wide or double wide. But when they're a repo, they're affordable and they're they're like the people may have lived in them only a few months. They're still brand new. There's not a mark on them. You can't you can't tell them from one that's that's used at all. They're absolutely brand new. They're beautiful, but I can afford that. And when I pass on, I will know that I have my house, my wife in, in a clean house that's not falling apart, rotten wood, bugs everywhere, mold on the ceiling. That's the conditions we're in right now. And because of you, because of all of you that helped me with this and donated so generously and helped so much and have been so good, your comments that you've given me have been absolutely incredible. Um, I have, I'm trying to answer everybody. If you don't hear from me, that doesn't mean I, I don't thank you. And it doesn't mean I didn't see your comment. I'm trying to answer everybody. I got three or four platforms that I'm trying to respond to everyone as much as possible to thank you from the bottom of my heart, from the top of my heart, from the left and right side of my heart. I can, I appreciate you all. Just you just don't know what you've done for me in my life. You have no idea what you've done for me in my life, me and my wife. Thank God for all of you. I appreciate you. I love you. I'm going to upload this video. And I hope my little tip here today with my shaddy camera work. You know you know how I do it. You see my other videos. They're awful. <laughs> and I apologize. I'm, I'm always by myself. So, all right. Take care. Watch the video. I appreciate you. Everything you've done. I love you all again, and I thank you. I'll see you sometime soon.